All right. Welcome to another episode of Comic Book Squares. We got another great one today. My name's Shane. I'm Carrie. I'm Ben. And I'm Mike. Let's get this show started. All right. Well, welcome to another episode. This is going to be another fun one. This is another book that was sent in to us by one of our uh, viewers. Uh, Carrie, you were having the conversation with them. So tell us a little bit about it. Yeah. So this book is uh, was submitted to us by Alfred. He has been um, really persistent, making sure to send us emails and follow us on YouTube. And so we wanted to make sure we got this review in. And um I do believe the book was released on November 1st. So we're looking at the book called Blowtorch. Um, and Alfred was the creator of this book. And so this is a black and white, um, fairly new uh, comic. As I said, it was just released on November 1st. So it's brand new. And um, depending on when you see this. <laughs> So it's still, it, but it's still new. And uh, in this story, we're really looking at a fairly John Wick-esque type of story where um, something has happened to our main character. Something was stolen from him and he's after it to get it back. He has a completely different uh, plot, I believe. I think what he's up to has nothing to do with this car getting stolen and everything like that. But that's where the episode really centers around is um, this masked man who he's masked all the time um, because he has scars all over his face. And uh, some gentlemen steal his car and um, some action ensues thereafter. And I think uh, for uh, it being the first book, I am, I think it was put together well enough that I would like to know what happens. Like what's this, this character actually after this is a side quest almost um, mm -hmm. where this wasn't planned. It's now happening. And now this guy has to deal with it because it now is just part of it. Very John wick. Like, I don't want to have to like go back into this life that I had, except for I'm being pulled back into it by other people's actions. And I think mm -hmm. that's what's happening to this main character is he had a plan. He was up to something and now there's a, a bunch of goons that have gotten in the way um, and one an extremely bratty kid that uh, that that definitely take him a different route. And so I think it's a good submission for the first book. And I really appreciate that Alfred took the time to really follow up and make sure that we got this on um, our review queue. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Go for it, Mike. Go. I know you're going to say something. I was just, uh, yeah, great, uh, solid, solid work. Uh, being in kind of, you know, black and white or grayscale uh, makes it sometimes maybe, maybe in some cases a little bit more challenging to kind of uh, paint the picture of, of what you're trying to do. And, and I was looking back at some of the panels and I think Shane, you'd pointed this out with some of the other book reviews is, you know, the attention to detail and mm -hmm. sometimes angling a panel a certain way or the way that you've tried to illustrate movement or action and so really solid job i mean um just once again uh not a huge story at this point like it was something where you could kind of relate to the character uh again as carrie mentioned you know whether that's john wick as far as kind of that um kind of that path um but um it's quick to engage you if you're if you're if you like this kind of of kind of actiony you know uh, genre. Uh, I think it did a great job with the with the art and the lettering and and again the panel layout and all of that. So um, yeah, definitely I would say it's salt very solid work to where it engaged me quickly. It uh, drew me into where I want to know a little bit more of the story and uh, where it goes and um just kind of see how it plays out i love the um the cover and i think the inner cover has very uh, it's, it's really it almost reminded me of like a very cool like black panther kind of a, a vibe to me as far as like just uh i think the cover had a, had some color to it but the inside panel was kind of 
again, dark. And it just reminded me of like some cool colorization that the Black Panther might have in an action pose. And just really very, very cool. Very kind of, again, drew me in very quickly. So very nice work and nicely done. Yeah, I 100% agree. Yeah, the cover was uh, is really well done. It's, you know, got a great pose on it and great use of color. Um, yeah, I, I agree. This is definitely, um, you know, we, we've uh, been doing uh, a lot of reviews lately just to kind of bring new uh, voices to the to the forefront and uh, tell you about these books that you might uh, either not have seen on the shelves. Um, but um, this one, I would say it falls more and in, more into the indie category in the sense that because it's black and white for sure. Um, but I wouldn't let that pull you out of, uh, you know, considering it because it uh, even though uh, it's black and white, it, the action and the way that the artwork is is done is is you know, top notch. Um, they, the creative team has done a really fantastic job here. And, um, I think there's definitely enough, uh, interest in this first episode or issue to, uh, want to find out more about this character and, and what makes them special. Um, you know, it hasn't been really revealed. I don't know that necessarily that they have any, um, like superhero abilities. I don't know if this falls into the superhero genre. Um, he seems to be more street level. Um, like, like Carrie said, um, more John wick, uh, in his abilities. Um, it definitely leaves you on a, on a cliffhanger as far as how is he going to get out of this situation? Um, which is a great way to end it. Uh, makes you want to, you know, tune in for the next issue for sure. spelled C-H-E-S-S, like, uh, like it's an, what is it called? An acronym? Mm -hmm. um, who wears a full face mask to cover his horrific scars when he's out in public. We catch up with Richard on the way home from his uncle's funeral when he runs across some unsavory characters who don't know they've just messed with the wrong person. So, yeah. Nice. There you go. That's a perfect way to describe it. Yeah. That's the elevator pitch. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Awesome. Very cool. So, uh, so when, in your conversations with, with Alfred, did, um, he mention that, uh, this is going to be an ongoing um, thing or they, is this a limited series or they envision this just to being an ongoing book? Did they he talk does about when say the next the, issue? Yeah, he does say it's the first issue. So, um, okay. and being that it just came out, I mean, we're recording this in November. So, yeah. um, it just came out this month. So it, it is a brand new comic, brand new, what sounds like the beginning of a series. And so okay. uh, look for any information in the descriptions and um, to get to this new comic. Nice. Well, very cool. What's the name? Uh, it looks like, uh, what's the name of the, uh, the comic book company? It's a little hard to read it on the cover here. Is that the name of it? Okay. Um, very cool. Pretty certain. Yeah. Um, yep. It's in, well, no, cause it says presents page one comics is the name of the comic company. Okay. Page one comics. All right. Yeah. So if you're looking at your comic shop and you want to tell them about it, um, yeah. Page one comics. There you go. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Yeah. See if you can get the physical copy of it for sure. Well, very cool. Well, it's always fantastic when uh, one of the readers uh, reaches out and wants us to, you know, uh, review their books. We're, we're happy to do it. Um, we'd love to help get the word out. And uh, hopefully, you know, Alfred and the team can use this to help, uh, you know, make people more aware of their book. Um, you know, we, we definitely enjoyed it here. So uh, keep sending stuff in and we appreciate it. 
Absolutely. And when you do, if you do send us any submissions, make sure you send us them early enough so that we might be able to fit them in and get them out when it's actually helpful for you. Absolutely. Well, thanks again for tuning in. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like, subscribe, notification bell so we can keep bringing you content like this. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.